So this happened today. Hey everyone. CBC News. Foreign buyers tax. Expanded rent control. Come into Ontario. CBC News has learned new measures will include 15% non-resident speculation tax. So, <laughs> you know, for those foreign investors that have been snatching up a lot of the real estate because like I say when you're talking about currency valuations <laughs> from foreign speculators yeah you can do that in Canada and actually benefit tremendously although I don't think this is going to be the end all be all just like in BC listen central planners don't want to truly <laughs> knock the feet out completely of this central planning model in this uh, speculative market and price increases because the economy, if they do, if they knock the legs out from the last main um, portion of the economy that's actually propping this this false pretense of growth up, I mean, because you even look at articles, and, and I'll probably try to look for it and share it in this particular video, where they were saying even before, the housing market and the speculative value and the increases, so people being able to borrow against their houses each year and and spend as a result of that borrowing right that is the largest single factor or single part of our economy that's keeping this speculative growth and this false GDP growth going and humming along so do they really want to fight it completely no I would imagine a lot of this has been tweaked right so it'll give the pretense of trying to put the brakes on someone and it probably will slow things down a little bit right so it's like let's let's ease up you know we've robbed the people you know to a lot by a lot right now can we slow down the increase in the growth and how much we're robbing them that's what it'll really come down to damage control right it's not about actually taking the hands off the wheel and let market forces take control because then if you saw that then like i say well, if that ever happened, then just the average person would all of a sudden see a great, tremendous benefit, and central planners and the 0.1% or lobbyists or market speculators, they'd be the losers. So no one wants to, these central planners, do they want to balance power in, in, in the favor of the people? No, of course not, because that means their power is decreased. It's never in their best interest to give you <laughs> power over your own life or your own wealth or, or your own ability to uh, sustain your living right no no they they want you to at least to constantly be looking to them to be your central planners so they're not going to do they're not going to damage um the pretense of having this massively overvalued speculative market because like i say they benefit tremendously from it you know whether it's local municipal governments provincial or federal governments they all benefit tremendously because they get to increase their the amount of taxation and wealth that they can confiscate from people because they believe you know if your house went up by a hundred thousand all that money you spent even if you borrowed against it in a credit card or a line of credit you know whether the banks money make money from that or everything you spend whether the government gets to tax all those purchases you made the central planners and the control freaks benefit at every stage along the game so no they, they you know they might be on this stage of the game to like okay we're put we've pushed things way too far so we're trying to put the brakes on a little bit but no they're not looking out for the best interests of canadians let me tell you just like under the fucking marijuana legalization file bullshit it's all about control it's never about freedom just same with the housing market it's all about more control and it's not about freedom because a lot of people a lot of these people especially these people in government are benefiting tremendously from this speculative wealth this newfound lottery which is to have a home now in in one of these great urban or central urban centers like these big urban centers in canada and it's like if you bought a house like it's like you won the lottery in recent years right they don't want to put the brakes on that totally because then then it, it might mean that people will actually have to learn and understand the real macroeconomics and fundamentals that are underlying and realize that oh shit we've been living in a bubble all along and that's going to expand out more than just the housing market recognize and realize that let's read a little bit into the article here ontario's liberal government will slap a 15 percent tax on home purchases by non-residents or non-resident foreigners and will expand the province's existing rent control system to cover all tenants cbc news has learned so you know for a while there they could raise rental um costs you know if it was what after 91 or 95 whatever year in particular it was but you could you could raise rents if your home or your condo or your apartment was built 
after that time, right, in the 90s, oh, you could raise rent, whatever you want. There's some people that <laughs> got rental notices that their rent's been increased like to the tune of twice as much what they're paying, double. But now I guess the central planner is saying, well, we'll, we'll, we'll use our, our central planning abilities to just write laws and legislation, and we'll try to squish and quell that by saying, hey, if you do that, well, we're going to take... But like I said, the people that do it, they're, devious people are always going to look and find a way, be, and then they'll lobby government, or they'll find some loophole in the system, and they'll benefit. So once again, it's always the trickle-down. When it talking about central planning, the only trickle-down that you get is the trickle-down nastiness and cost. That's where you get. Not any wealth, not in, any increase of prosperity or freedoms or liberties. The only trickle-down effect that ever comes from government is your... You're having to take on and assume more of the load, more of the responsibility to prop up this system. The move comes after the price of the average home in the greater Toronto area jumped 33% in one year, triggering warnings of a real estate bubble as well as after reporting by CBC Toronto by CBC Toronto revealed landlords slapping massive rent increases on tenants. But think about 33%. You know, 33%. Think about it. Even if you bought a house that's worth... You know, 666,000, right? Well, slightly, well, fairly substantial in excess of half a million. Well, boom, in one year, it's all, it's worth a million now. Look at that. The magic. Oh, you just won the lottery. But like I said, it's all speculative wealth. They're all trying to tamp it down a little bit. <laughs> like I say, they don't want to put the brakes on completely because, like I say, that means the natural market forces will take effect. And then, yeah, then the central planners become the losers. And the people become the winners. And they are never, ever, ever going to want to allow you to become a winner and then be the losers. <laughs> Good luck. You really think they'd shoot themselves in the foot to that extent? To cause themselves that much pain while you get to benefit from their pain? No. Anyways, I'll, I'll share a, a link to this article. I'm not going to read a whole lot into it. I've covered the housing market so extensively now. I don't know how many, what, at least half a dozen videos or more that I've done covering this. So I think most Canadians, even without my videos or all the other outlets and, and media personalities that are telling you, at this stage, if you're, if you're unfamiliar with just how much of a crazy situation and how much bubble territory the housing market in Canada is, then, like I say, well, are you an ostrich? You had, is your head, your head in the sand for the last decade or so? I don't know. But anyways, I'll put a link to this article in the description of this video below so you can continue on reading and learn of some of the nuances where they're trying to, you know, tamp down on the speculative price increases. But you'll come to realize that, yeah, in reality, it's not going to really benefit the people. There might be some small benefits and gains, but at the same time, the central planners, the speculators, the devious among us are going to benefit at your expense. That is one thing you can almost always be assured of. When it comes to central planning, market speculation, and manipulation. It's Canadian Libertarian, and I love liberty.